Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In this video, we are going to see about the conditional statements. Myself, Gayatri, uh, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. So, first we will see about the basic definition for the conditional statements. Why we are going for the conditional statement? In a program, I want to execute particular part of the uh, statements or particular part of the operations only. I want to execute only if satisfies the condition. In this scenario, we are going for the concept called conditional statement. So, another name is nothing but the control statements. So, it decides the order of the execution based on the conditions in the program. So, uh, types of the branching statements I have given here you can see. So, simple if statement, if else statement, nested if and the else if statement. Finally, we are going to finish off with the switch statement. So, first one is a if statement. If statement, I have given a syntax here, only the condition is satisfies, it will execute the statement. If the condition is not satisfied, it will directly come out of the statement. So, I have given the flow chart here, you can see if the condition, this is the start symbol, this is a decision symbol, you can see. So, this condition is satisfies, it will execute the conditional block, that is nothing but a true block. If the condition is not satisfied, it will directly coming out of the statement. So, this is the simple syntax for the if condition. So, if the condition is satisfied, it will execute these statements. If the condition is not satisfied means there will be no false block in the simple if statement. So, the statement block will not be executed in the simple if statement. Second one is an uh, we can see this simple if statement with an example. So, I am going to check uh, the whether the number is given number is an even or not. I am going to check using the simple if statement. So, under the main function, I am declaring a number. In the integer, I am declaring a number. Using the printf and scanf statement, I am getting the number from the user. So, if the number is modulo 2, which is divisible by 2 is equal to equal to 0 means the number is even. The simple if condition I am giving here. So, if the number is not even, so it will directly return 0, that is all. So, this is the simple example for the even uh, checking simple if statement. So, second one is an if else statement. So, same like a simple if statement, we are having the separate block for the false statement also. So, if the condition is satisfies, it will execute the first uh, true condition, the first statement it will be executed. If the condition is not satisfied, the else part will be automatically executed. This is the simple syntax for the if else statement. If the condition is satisfied, it will execute this statement. If it is not satisfied, it will execute the else part. This is an if else statement. We will see with an example. So, this is an example, same like uh, previous example. I have checked for the even number. Now, I am going to check whether the given number is an even or odd I am going to check. So, I have given a number here. So, using the printf and scanf, I am getting the number. If the number is uh, divisible by 2, the modulo is, is equal to equal to 0 means this is an even number. If not, it is an odd number I am declaring. So, this is the simple example for the if-else statement. Second, so this is the output you can see the number is 10341 means this is an odd number. So if I am entering the number 10342 that is an even number. So this is the example for the if else statement. Second we are going to see the nested if else statement. So in a program if I am having only one condition we can go for the if statement simple if statement or if else statement. I am having multiple conditions more than one condition I am having means we can go for the nested if else statement. So, in the nested if statement I have given a syntax here you can see under the if condition you can include the another if statement also. This is known as a nested if condition. So, we can explain with an example. So, this is an example for the nested if statement. So, under the main function I am using a character I am declaring a username variable name called username and the integer I am declaring a variable name called password. So, from the user using the printf and scanf statement, I am getting the username and the password from the user. Now, I am going to give the condition. If the username is equal to equal to A means then only console will enter into the next condition. If the username is not A, directly the console will come out here, the else part will be executed. Username is equal to e, A means it will go inside the condition. Otherwise, it will directly come out of the, this if statement and it will execute the else part. Username is incorrect. Try again. 
if the username is equal to 1 then it will go inside then only it will check for the password if the password also 1 2 3 4 5 means then it will print as login successful if the password is not incorrect directly it will come out of this condition and with the else part in this password is incorrect will be executed in the program so this is what the uh, simple example for the nested ifs condition so this is the output you can see first one the username is a only password also again correctly 1 2 3 4 5 so the login is successful in the output 2 you can see username is a but password i have given as wrong so the password is incorrect and try again it is showing in the last output you can see username b i have given so username itself it is wrong so it is displaying the message called username is incorrect try again so that's all about this is the simple example for the nested if else statement in this else if uh, condition you can see if the condition is true it is executing this statement if the condition is false here you can give another condition here also you can using the decision symbol i have given the another condition so if the condition is false you can give another condition it will check that condition if this condition is true it will execute statement 2 if the condition 2 is false again you can go for the another condition we can check in the previous example if the condition is false we have given only the else part which will uh, execute the particular statement only we can't we are not checking the another condition if the condition is false also we can using the else if condition we can check the another condition so this is the simple flow chart or syntax you can say you uh, for the else if uh, condition so this is the example so in the example under the header files main function i am giving a integer a variable name i am getting a number from the user using the printf and scanf statement so if a is greater than 0 means the number is positive so simple uh, like uh, positive negative or 0 we are going to check using the else if ladder so if the number is greater than 0 you know that is a positive number if it is an equal to 0 that is a 0 so if it is a less than 0 that is a negative so this is the simple example for the else if ladder so next one we are going to uh, see about the switch statement instead of going through all the statements we can choose the user can choose from the given multiple choices multiple choices will be given for the user the instead of going through all the steps we can choose the whatever operation i want to perform so there are there are some rules for writing the switch case statement in the switch case statement the case statement has to be specified the case statement must end with the colon and it should end with the break and about the default statement you can include the default statement is optional if the user is not choosing from the given choices the default statement will automatically it will display whatever the message in the default statement it will automatically will be displayed so this is the basic switched case statement we can say it is in faster than the nested if else statement why means because I already explained instead of going through all the statement whether this condition satisfies or not otherwise it is satisfy next condition or instead of going through all the steps is we can directly go for the switch statement we can directly choose whichever operation has to be performed by given by the multiple choices so we can have the number of choices in the switch case statement from the number of choices we can choose the whatever operation i want to perform so we'll explain with this switch case statement with an example this is the basic syntax for the switch case statement and one more thing is no two case constants are identical the case constant is nothing but some case you are giving right before this colon i am giving the number for the case statement to identify which uh, case the user is choosing for this i am identifying with the number that is known as a case constant so this number will be given in the case statements this choice will be getting from the user which choice the user wants from the multiple choice he is choosing right so that choice he can um, he can enter in the display screen so we are getting from the user so this is the basic syntax for the switch case statement this is known as a case constant no Two, uh, two case constant should be identical so if you are giving a constant one case one means in second one should be a case two in this flow it has to go finally we can give the uh, default statement every case statement should end with the break then only it will come out of the that case and it will enter to the next case or it will directly go to the default statement so we'll see with an example so here i am getting a two numbers so what are all the choices i am going to give for the user means addition subtraction multiplication and division these are the four choices i am going to give for the 
user so i am getting the choice from the user itself so i am asking the choice from the user so for example i am entering the number as 10 and 20 so i am going to give a choice as 3 in the code how we are displaying we can see so switch off choice choice is nothing but this is the choice we are getting so this is the num name you have to give in the choice in the inside the braces you have to give the choice so these are the number i am getting from the user case 1 or case 2 case 3 or case 4 these are the number we are getting it from the user so now i have already told you that i am choosing the case 3 so in the case 3 simply the multiplication this statement why we are using the percentage d i am using to get this value a into b so 20 into 10 is 200 after this statement is executed we are putting a break statement directly it will come out of the loop we will see the output now. So yes, two numbers 20 and 10 I am getting. The choice I have make is 3. So it is a multiplication. So 20 into 10, 200. This is the output I am getting. I hope you find it useful. We will see in the next video. Thank you.